What's up everybody, it's your boy Dave Mo. Welcome to the channel. Um, today's video, I want to introduce you guys to an app you probably already know and I've talked negatively about it in the past. It's called um, Laser Appraiser. So the reason why I spoke negatively about this app is because uh, I, was, I was mainly a cash guy. So if you're doing cash cars, you really don't, you can hear the thunder. I'm in Florida, Tampa, you can hear the thunder in a storm right now. But um, anyway, if, you, if you're doing cash cars, you really don't need this app. But it's nice to have, it's, it's convenient as hell. Now that I'm getting into financing cars, um, it's really convenient to have it. So let me show you how it works. Let's just pick, uh, I don't know guys, just give me a car, give me a car. Tell me which one. I'm trying to look. Let's check this Sorrento out. So when you're um, selling cars to banks and when you're financing cars, okay, you the least amount of uh, negative issues on a Carfax like your credit is better. No structural damage, no car accidents, certainly no frame damage, um, stuff along those lines. So... Now you can have it and you can do them. So here, we're gonna copy the number. All right, it just means your check is a little bit less. So here we go. I will hit manual input. I'm gonna paste this right here and it's automatically gonna pull it up. So because I'm using ACV, it doesn't know the mileage. So I'll just come right over here, back to my ACV app, 102711. I'm gonna type it in the mileage, 102711. All right. And now it tells me right here, now I'm paying for this, okay? So it's telling me how much it is at Mannheim. My adjusted MMR is 7250. My retail, if you guys go with that, it's uh, 126, okay? But here's what you really want, JD Power. I have this set up to show me the retail view. And what it's showing me is that my check is gonna be 7625. Um, 20, 30, 40% over that number, but that's the, the, the base. Okay, so this car is going for right now 4900 with three minutes to go. So let's just say you got it and you didn't want to throw like a, a, the down payment or anything on top of that. That would 7625 would be a check. But let's just say, hypothetically speaking, let's go back over here. Let's pick a different car. Um, let's get some new cars in here. I want to use that truck because. I want to get into selling trucks anyway. So let's use this 2020. Damn, this is one hell of a truck. Let's go down here. Let's see. Copy it again. We'll go back here. Oh, I got to move this out of the way. Go back up here. Move this out of the way. That's if you're going to then scan it. So here, we gotta know the mileage, 109.480, 109.480. So it's just gonna put the mileage it should have on there. So the adjusted MMR is 2160, you guys can see that. Top right, well, here. Top right, right now, you can see the mileage is good. Same thing with this one. And your check, you can see we just took a hit of $3,600 because the mileage is so high. So the adjusted check is gonna be 24.6. And this car is going for right now 20 grand with 13 minutes to go, uh, no bids. So any which way, as you come up a little bit more, I have mine set for 40 miles of the zip code that the dealership is in. And it starts to tell you, so you can see right here, it says trim all big horn, that's a big horn. Um, let's see. If it's a big horn, Lone Star. Just says big horn. One other thing we could do is go to the pictures. Let's look at that tailgate. Big horn, that's it, all right. So we'll just go right back here. When you look at the big horn, there's two of them. The average mileage is again 56, and you can see the low price of the big horn. It's gonna be 50. Uh, 32 nine so ours is gonna have almost double the mileage so we'll probably get away with this car three four five thousand dollars down 
our check will be 24 so we'll be selling that car for about 29 depending on what we buy it for it's great there's only two of them available big horns in this area but there's 31 dodge f-150s available so and then this is dealer studio um this is a calculator so let's just say you know we won the car for argument's sake twenty thousand all right and we want to make um so you're going to see how that little lock is green the arrows point to the left the appraised value is actually the value you paid for it and let's just say we want to make five thousand on it i mean it's a simple calculator really um and then it'll tell you how much you have to ask for it which is twenty twenty six thousand um out of 32 you're ranked number four for your price so you're, you're pretty aggressive it'll tell you how many days it's on the market etc cetera, etc cetera. and when we're actually using the um the desktop version it's so so much better and you know it's kind of messed up guys i am my own worst enemy i had a deal set up with this place that i was able to at one point offer uh 10 10 subscribers i think it's now, I think it's $240 for the whole thing, but for what I just showed you, it's only like $140 a month. But um, I was able to give you guys the $240 one, let you join my account for $100. Um, but something happened where I wasn't able to, we weren't able to come to terms with it. So, but if you are interested, leave a comment below. Let me know that you would be interested and then I will do the best I can to see if I could close them down at that deal. Um, and so let's check out this Sorrento here. No bids, 4,900. Um, same thing, just copy. We'll go right back over here. We're gonna, you gotta hit scan, and then close out scan, and then just paste it. And we're looking at, we'll say 101 for argument's sake. All right, so it's loading up Mannheim and saying the MMR at Mannheim is $5,000. You guys could see that, $5,075, okay? Um, and again, guys, even when I'm doing this at home, I never put the grade in, and I never really care about the color because watch how much the grade could potentially change it. So a grade of 1.0 brought it down to 18. Then a grade of 5.0 brought it up to 67. Wait, I might have went too fast for you guys. Hold on. So the grade is 5.0. It brought it up to 67. Do you guys see that? All right. I'm going to go back down to one. And you see how the adjusted MMR brought it down to 18.5. And then I'm going to go to NA. And it brought it to 5,075 again. The reason why I don't like to use the grade is because that's subjective. If I'm standing next to one of you guys and we're judging the same car and we have a scoring system, even if we're using Mannheim scoring system, we're both going to come up with different numbers. Therefore, the adjusted MMR with the grade is not something that I care about. Um, so the loan for this car, as you guys could see, 6,650 and you'll probably, for us, we're always gonna do $2,000 down. So it brings that car to about 86, if that's what the market's looking like. Um, so let's just say we won this car for, what's it at right now? Let's say we won this thing for 5,000. I wanna make $2,000. So I could I could offer it to sell for 86. It puts me at uh, price rank. I'm number six. Adjusted rank of out out of 11 puts me at number five. So watch how we could change this up here. So I don't want to be so greedy. Now you see how I dropped it a thousand dollars. All right. So I'm still still in here making my um the two thousand dollar profit. So, and again, that's, you know, how it works. And let me see, which one is this? This is the LX. So there's six of them available, ranging from 6,000 to 12,000, with an average mileage of 110,000 miles. And can you guys see where I'm getting that number from? Trim level, go down to LX. Then the first thing is how many are available, number six. High price, average price, low price, average mileage, and if you look down here, filtered by the way I have it filtered, I don't really have too much in here, right? 
like um, the color and stuff like that, it would give me a better idea of what I want. But when I show you guys the desktop, you'll see it a lot better. But anyway, this is the reason why I use it because of Mannheim and because of JD Power. You can also make notes. So you could make notes here, like uh, let's just say we're at the auction, needs air, uh, uh, backup camera. Um, left front window, no go. And that's it. Or you could just put, which is my favorite to put in here, G. TG, good to go, baby. Once you get it home, you're able to sell it. So, doesn't happen that often. But anyways, here it is, guys. I hope you enjoy it. Um, I will put a link, but I think a link. If not, I'll give you the girl's phone number. Her name is Hannah. She was super helpful with me. Um, I think I get a referral fee or something like that. Or maybe I don't. I don't know for sure. I don't really care. If you guys, I mean, how much is it really going to be, right? If you guys can use it, great. If you can't, and you're, you're you know, then you're like me back then, or not even like, like that, but you know what I'm saying? Like, if you can use it, great, use it. If you can't, don't even worry about it. You could be just fine going back and forth to, to Mannheim, to um, Facebook Marketplace, and stuff like that. But if you guys do have finance companies, you're going to have to get JD Power no matter what. And JD Power um, is going to be the one that tells you your loan values. Very, very. I haven't seen anyone who doesn't use JD Power yet. It used to be NADA. All right, guys. I'll catch you on the next one.